In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a POP3 email account on an iPhone. And you're going to find the uh, settings icon either on your home screen or um, elsewhere, depending on uh, your, your particular uh, version that you're using. Uh, but on mine, it's on the home screen here. But just look for this icon that says settings under it, which is right here. And then scroll down to the mail section, which is right here. Uh, right underneath passwords on mine and if I click on that arrow there it'll expand this out and then uh, when you come down here to uh, the the middle section where it says accounts I currently have four email accounts set up on my iPhone uh, but I'm going to add another account so that you'll see how it's done uh, I'm going to add webmaster at TexanRVRanch.com. So from this screen, you'll want to go all the way down to the bottom and click on Other. And then you'll want to add Mail Account, which is this top one. I'm going to put in my name and my email address is going to be webmaster at TexanRVRanch.com. And of course, you're going to you're going to put in manager at, and I'm going to put in my password that I've assigned myself, and I'm going to click on next in the upper right hand corner. And I want it to be a pop account, not an IMAP. So make sure that pop on the right is selected. And then it's going to ask for a little bit more information here. So if you go down to the middle section under incoming mail server, we're going to put in mail. Dot texanrvbranch.com. Check your spelling. I uh, want to make sure because if, if you've misspelled something, it's not going to work. My username is going to be webmaster at texanrvranch.com. Okay, and then my password was just carried over. So uh, in the on outgoing mail server at the bottom, we want to do the same thing here. We want to put in mail dot ranch dot com, and then uh, this is optional username. I'm going to put it in anyway, even though it is optional. That way we don't have to worry about anything not working. And, uh, and then having to go back and, and uh, make any further adjustments. Okay, so one more time, we want to look at uh, our spelling. I'm going to put in my password one more time. Okay, all of my information looks good. My uh, name, email, a description of the account in case you're going to have more than one email account on your phone. That's always nice to have. The incoming mail server is correct, mail.texanrvranch.com. Uh, my username is the full email address. In your case, again, it's going to be a manager instead of webmaster. And then the host is basically the same identical information as what's in the incoming. So outgoing and incoming both use the same. And then I'm going to come up here to the upper right-hand corner and click on Save. And it's going to go through a verification process, and it's done. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to go back to my mail, go back to settings here, and uh, and everything looks good there. So that's all you have to do. And once you get that done, then just make sure that uh, you're getting a copy uh, permanently removed off the server on your desktop. Uh, iPhone, don't worry about it, but uh, your desktop for sure. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. We'll go from there. Thanks.